Hi, and welcome to Dashdis. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful looking dashboard with multiple in integration in just a few clicks. Let's get started. So first of all, you have connected several one or several integrations already. So you've noticed that in just a few clicks, you can uh, enter your username and password and get a connection with all your integrations. If I want to start um, creating a dashboard, uh, let's cr click on Create Dashboard. Then you'll be presented with several dashboard templates. So these are um, options that we have created uh, for you. So you can use either a single integration dashboard or a multiple one. To view the KPIs included, simply click on Details. And you can click on Preview to see what it will look like. You have three different types of dashboards you can choose from. So we're currently looking at the periodic. So this one is calendar based. You can create a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual period. Then you have the campaign dashboards, which will allow you to use custom start and end dates. As the name suggests, mostly used for campaigns, but you can use it uh, to display any kind of custom period. Once again, you can click on details to see the KPIs included and a preview of the dashboard. You'll, let it, you'll notice that the widgets are different uh, from one type of dashboard to the other. So different options will be offered depending on the dashboard type. And lastly, we have a rolling dashboard, which will allow you to uh, compare three different data sets. So we have different periods available. Um, this will be used to monitor a trend. So you can see your KPI, a trend line, absolute values and fluctuations. And you can also see that within the list. So let's create together a periodic dashboard. I should, uh, I could actually show you how easy it is to use a preset widget, but that would be too easy. So I'm just going to show you how to create a blank period, which is just as easy as that. So this is my dash disk report. You'll be able to change the language and currency here. The time period for the periodic can be selected here. So you'll have different options and you can add a password um, as an option here. At the next step, that's where I'll connect my data sources. So let's get started with a Google Analytics source. I'm going to select my demo account. Then I could select other data sources from this menu simply by clicking on the data source and adding it. So you can connect multiple platforms within the same dashboard. Whenever I'm ready, click Create Dashboard. So I'm presented with a blank dashboard in which I'm going to start building my sections. So first of all, uh, the static widgets are all widgets that will be manually updated. So I can add a comment box to get some insights for the periods in which I can add some text, images, and clickable URL link. I can also resize this box to make it fit the way I want it. Here, I'm also going to add a header. So this will be used to break down your dashboard into sections. So this will be, for example, my overall website performance. And this can also be resized. In the preset widgets, I can also add a CSV, a static CSV widget. Uh, this one is used to uh, display an actual image of a CSV file. So let me show you what this looks like. I can also play with my columns, change the title, resize it, and so on. In the static widget, you'll also find the editable number. So this is just a square box in which you can modify the title for whatever you'd like and also the content for any number or even letters if you need to. Now the preset and custom widget. So that's where uh, I'll get the data from the platforms I connected. So in this case, Google and Facebook ads. 
Preset widgets are just a few of the um, KPIs available through the platform. So these are uh, the most popular ones. They're already associated with a type of widget and a KPI. You can view here the definition for each. Just note that if you connected more than one Facebook Ads account, the preset widget will automatically aggregate data from all the accounts you connected to this dashboard. If you don't find what you're looking for, you can go from the custom widgets menu where you'll find all the options. So first of all, you'll see all the types of widgets available. You can select the one you need and then select the platform um, the integration from which you want the data to be coming from. So in this case, I'll select Google Analytics. If I had connected more than one view uh, for Google Analytics or more than one ad account for Facebook ads, I would have the option to select which one I want to use for this widget. So either all of them or only some of them. Then you'll have access to the complete list of metrics and uh, dimensions available for this platform. So you can simply pick whichever you want. Uh, please note that you'll have access to the custom conversions you have set up in Facebook um, and the custom metrics and goals you have set up in Google Analytics, for example. Um, then depending on the platform, you'll have different options uh, to filter your information. In Google Analytics, for example, you'll have access to your segments and also adding filters with regex options. Um, so I'll go ahead and create a widget here for the multi-column list. Here we go. So uh, I can also stretch my widget all the way down to the bottom of my results if I want to. So there's no limitation. I could stretch it all the way down. Uh, you'll know that there's different options in terms of the visual presentation of my widget. So the data display here can be modified and the options will vary according to the, the type of, of uh, widget you've used. Uh, right now I'm showing fluctuations, but I could remove them if I wanted to. I could add a total line at the bottom. I could compare with previous period. In this case, I'm in a monthly, so I'm looking at the previous month or the same period last year. Uh, the fluctuations can be absolute value, percentage compared by uh, period value, and I can sort the order depending on what I need. You'll find also a markup option if you need uh, for your cost widgets, and you can also merge different widgets from different platforms as well. So for example, if I had um, different paid uh, platforms connected to this dashboard, so let's say Facebook ads and LinkedIn ads, I could merge uh, both my cost widgets together to have an aggregate. Now you see how quick and easy it is to create a complete section. So for example, if I go with the pre uh, preset widgets, I'll be able to create a whole section in just a few clicks. Then I can segment my data with header to create sections. And here we go. Um, your client will also see the data dynamically on the trend lines like this. So that makes it um, a bit more dynamic than the PDF version. However, the um, option to extract the um, dashboard in PDF is right here. If you'd rather organize an email to be sent periodically to your client uh, containing the link to access their dashboard, you can do that with the share by email option. Uh, you can enter one or several email addresses, add a note, you can include a PDF attachment to the email, and you could have it sent, for example, monthly every third of the month. You can also save your dashboard as a template if you'd like. The option is found here. So for an easy access when you create a new dashboard, you'll see it among your options of preset templates. So you can easily start from one of our preset templates, customize it as you wish, and then save it as your own. You also have the option to clone a dashboard. This one will allow you to replace a current source or just keep it to 
make it a different period. So let's say I want to keep all my KPIs and the layout of my dashboard, but I want to make it a month, a weekly, sorry. Uh, you can easily change it or simply change the currency like this. Now, if I go back to this section here, you can easily drag your dashboards into groups and then share the whole content of a group with your client by copying this URL link here. Then if I access this group, all my dashboards will be included. Now you can see how easy and intuitive it is to use DashDis. However, you will have access to your own dedicated account manager if you have any questions. So feel free to contact him through this menu here at the top. And please note as well that we do have white label uh, options to brand your dashboard. So if you have any questions about how to use the, the tool or if you'd like to learn more about the customization options, you'll be able to get in touch with your dedicated resource directly from here. So I hope this video was informative and useful and we hope to welcome you on board soon. Cheers!